In this video, we'll look at exporting data via email. Similar to how we can use email as a way to import data, we can send email notifications from ServiceNow to another system that accepts and processes our email message. However, as mentioned in an earlier video, email lacks authentication. So if security is a concern, exporting our data via email probably isn't a good idea. Now this video assumes we know the basics of sending an email notification, so we're going to skip over some of the details. For our example, let's say we have to notify our legacy employee recognition system as employees complete a training course. It's on our roadmap to get the recognition app rebuilt on ServiceNow, but in the meantime, we need to use email to tell it that a course is complete and which employees have attended so they can be recognized as completing the course. On our end, we're going to trigger a notification at the completion of our course that sends a list of employees. Pretty simple. Let's take a look at how to build that. We'll start by going to System Notification, Email, Notification Email Scripts. Be aware, if we choose to use email as a means of exchanging data, the text formatting is critical. Have a discussion with the other systems administrator or developer about their input requirements. For example, they told us to include a course ID and employee name separated by a pipe character. We're going to use a script that's embedded into the email notification body to gather the records of all the employees who registered and completed the specified course. The name of the script should use letters, numbers, and underscores. No spaces. And the template.print method is how we output information into our email notification body. Notice, too, that there is a new line character at the end of template.print, so each record is on its own line. Unlike gs.info or similar output statements, template.print does not automatically add a new line. Okay, our mail script looks pretty good, so let's click Submit. Now we can create the notification by navigating to System Notification Email Notifications. We'll give the notification a name, choose our table, and tell it when we want to send the notification, when a record is updated and the state changes to close complete. Who will receive it is the email address of our employee recognition system. So we'll click Users and put a specific email address here. Normally, we would add a subject and a body. But in this case, we need to click Advanced View in the related links. Because by default, the system sends HTML email, but our receiving system only understands plain text. So we'll set the content type here. We'll also omit the watermark. And let's take away the default email template to remove the preferences links so that none of that is included in the body and possibly processed as incoming data. And for the content, we'll add a quick subject, and we'll call our mail script in the body like this. And then we'll save the record. Let's click the Preview Notification button to test it out. Looks pretty good. Notice, too, that there's a related link on the notification form to quickly navigate to the email scripts involved with this notification should we need to make any script modifications. Let's give this a real try with our training record. We'll set the state to closed complete and save. And when we navigate to the system mailbox outbox, open the record and click preview email, we can see our records made up of pipe separated fields ready to be sent to the other system. Email can be a simple way to send information to another system. Be sure to pay attention to the formatting of the message body to comply with the remote system's input requirements. And remember, Email lacks authentication, so be aware that our email messages could be spoofed. Use email integrations only if absolutely necessary. 